Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, our Arwen Den colony. And uh, it's just been like a day in game. We have 1.5 days until security threats become active at um, the Relic Complex. And people are mostly healed up. Uh, Janice is missing a weapon. and We don't have Plasteel to make another one right now. That being said, when... Thela, like, I don't want to really make any more steel weapons, so when Thela gets her spear, I guess Janice can have her halberd, and then we'll deal with that until we get more plasteel. Um, I know that we are running close to, like, completing objectives, so today we'll get the spear. We might grab one more senator, um, and I've shifted job priorities uh, for a lot of people to focus on delivering resources and construction. So um, we're going to do as much as we can to like complete the base here the next couple days uh, and then finish out the objective. We need to like fill all this in with the massive amounts of like soil that we have. Um, but yeah, I figure, I know it's the middle of the night, but let's go ahead and get folks out there and they will, they'll just like sleep outside overnight and uh, we'll take care of that or they'll arrive at the complex like early in the morning so guards let's grab some folks with weapons let's grab just a few melee folks travel supplies what are they bringing regular meals are fine um they're just like basically going into our front yard and coming back so um we will get that taken care of hopefully it's not as extreme as what we encountered yesterday and i discovered it is Oh God, <laughs> they've been having uh, they've been having a feast. They've been wandering around in this area back and forth. So obviously they've made it dirty. It probably doesn't help that a lot of the tiles in here are not actually floor. They are dirt. So they're walking over dirt into tiles and it's just a mess, but looks like they're having a good time. So Alara does seem to be the culprit when it comes to, oh, I keep hitting three instead of draft. And I lost my UI, so I'll be right back. Okay, so it seemed like Alara was the one with far skip yesterday. And she does, like, she has mage light. When we kept looking at the spell book, she does not have, like, major teleport, right? Or portal or whatever um, from the conjurer tree. But if we draft her, she does have these abilities. <laughs> um, and so like many things in this current save file that are broken because I messed around with mods well into the game starting. Um, something's broken with Alara, and it it is probably the best bug that we've had all playthrough, considering I have to like constantly reload to get our UI back, and sometimes people like sit cutting plants and... Um, never actually cut them until we reload uh there's just like wonkiness going on but you know if we we're gonna have any kind of bug uh a bug that is giving her this tree without this tree being unlocked or even like whatever like i don't know what we would have done yesterday we would have lost a lot of people we would have resorted to kiting um and I think we would have lost tons of people. So, uh, Lara, you colony, one of our many colony saviors. I I have to say that I appreciate her. Uh, baby situation. Oh my gosh, we have, it feels like we constantly have three or four babies. We have three of them right now. Um, I think Dendron and Tiberius, you guys related? Tiberius, yeah. So these are both high jelly babies. We have Horatio with the giant unibrow, who is Doc and Thela's baby. Um, and Janice is your brother. So Janice apparently got all the looks. Well, I'm not, maybe not sure about that. His eyes are a little weird. Um, and then we have uh, Sylvia, who is, I believe, Nim and Etrian's baby. Yeah, and you have, you have like a half brother. Um, Maximus, who's like a Lara and Etrian's love child while, while your mom was dead or something. Um, 
and oh that, that's what i was just about to say i'm like and we're about to have another baby baby just hatched uh so chestnut she is she's been making all kinds of babies so this is one of three of the moosewood or this yeah this is three of three of moosewood sisters italis seems like it would be a boy's name to me uh but it's a girl whatever um you are gabinus oh maybe it's because we've been taking their last names and making it their first names uh we're gonna make you a moosewood sister uh and actually we'll just call you gabby uh you are a sister right yeah i think all of the animican like they are always gonna be female right yeah female um so tons and tons of babies i think what we'll do today is we'll get these guys out on their caravan and um maybe when they come back with fella's weapon we'll we'll take a look at what our family trees are looking like um we have this mo like ooh. wait where did the family tree mod go maybe it was this yeah that like obviously that's not working because everything is just like crazy with 57 colonists at this point uh anyhow we will we'll come back when they get going why are they not going is it because you're asleep um is it we like started the caravan everyone decided to go to bed okay whatever um we'll we'll get there in a bit oh i think they weren't forming the caravan because they were still like feasting or whatever um so they were like torn between leaving and consuming food and making our nature temple completely filthy uh so they are on their way out now and Oh, man, we have so much to do. I need to start unforbidding these things. I wanted to get some of our drapes up in some of these rooms. I didn't want to use all of our, like, anima brick for it yet because we're going to need tons of it for up here. Um, we did start on some of the temples, so let's, like, get this what's unforbidden here finished, and then we will put down floors and start working on the flooring here as well. Okay, we have arrived. I don't see any immediate threats. That being said, last time we came to one of these, like I feel like one time it was empty. The previous time it was um, mechanoids, but they weren't hostile, which well, I was like kind of fine with because we did so many quests. Um, and we aren't even supposed to have mechanoids, so I don't know what's going on. But, you know, things are things are interesting so let's have you guys just like come in to back things up yeah these guys they don't seem hostile we aren't automatically fighting them so we will we will leave these ancient machines to the whatever they are gonna do and we will equip Bella's spear so uh let's go ahead and just like pick that guy up let's take a look at the stats on this guy so it is a possessed weapon so it has some traits arcane meditative made it meditative wow wow i cannot talk uh this weapon's persona is naturally meditative and helps its wielder focus in psychic meditation that is exceptional and arcane hypersensitivity this weapon amplifies the wielder's magical aptitude by 40 percent that is awesome only when it's wielded so and damage is 20.46 on this guy let's take a look like half flare you have a possessed weapon as well what is the damage on uh lolor door it is 24.37 Ooh, okay and then novak you got bane sender and it is 18.85 gives you calm thoughts and let's take a look one of our mithril elven spears is at 10.76 so these are like double damage compared to the rest of the stuff that we're doing so that was pretty anticlimactic i totally forgot that these have been super weird they're working better than the last time we did a medieval run last time when we were doing viking wolf we would get here and there wouldn't be any enemies and the relic wouldn't even be like spawned in the building so um slightly better than the last time we've done one of these types of runs let's go ahead and get you guys home then and 
travel supplies, anything, items. There's always some random silver on the map. Um, don't see any. We'll go ahead and hit send. You guys will be home in a little bit. Um, and we'll see what else we might do today. We haven't actually checked out any of these faction contentions or defenses. Um, so that might be something that we do. We might go grab one of the senators, like I mentioned earlier. But for now, I think I'll focus on letting them get caught up on building. We'll see if any interesting events happen. Um, and if not, or if it gets to be too late for me before getting this uploaded, um, then we'll go create an event. So we will go grab a senator and do a thing. But we'll be back. Okay, once we got back to our map, Thela would not equip her spear and it was because we had her set up as a guard so we removed her social role actually did we we converted her to a ranger uh so uh let's take a look at the weapon again because i want to see bio gear um so ranged cooldown okay so i think it shoots lightning Usable with shields. We're going to change that. Stopping power is range. And then is there like melee damage is still pretty insane. So I think she's still a front line. She'll just be able to throw some ranged attacks before she gets out there. Um, and then what is it that we need to do? I think it's mod options. Yes, shields. And it is a lightning spear. Uh, what? Thela... Hmm. Uh, relic? No. So we have the lightning spear. Oh, lightning javelin. Okay, so let's do that. And then um, I think we should be able to use it with shields. I don't know if we need to reload first. We probably do. Uh, usable with shields. Oh, okay. So you are, you are good to go. Okay, you got your gold spear and your gold painted shield. Awesome. Okay, Dendron is always giving us a starvation alert. Um, he's just so hungry, 200%. Um, robust digestion, rain veil probably, just like all kinds of random stuff. The aquatic thing, I figure that probably, okay, so that's grayed out because it says that it takes effect after H3. I was confused about that earlier, but that makes sense now. I think we're going to implant him with a Xenogerm um, just to like chill him out so um we could give him tinder skin and weak melee damage um what else could we give him dark light affinity no that would be annoying bark skin ah interesting uh we've been using that for like our arwen touch though um yeah i guess Maybe like Tox vulnerability. Um, let's close you. Let's take a look at your Xenotype. I don't think there's anything about you that indicates that you would be like a strong melee user. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put one of those together. What is your Xeno right now? You're just like a random hybrid and it's calling you a, a baselaner, which is super strange. Um, okay, so Tinder skin, weak melee damage. Tox vulnerability. That'll chill you out. That gets us, that gets him down to like 90%. So we could give him something else. Um, he's already got aquatic. Nature connection. Or attractive. We could, we could make him real handsome. His parents are like Drusilla, a beautiful naiad, and... Marin, our colony himbo. Um, do you have attractive? Did you get that from your dad? You did. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, or we could just do that and get him to like 125% uh, and leave the melee damage alone. That being said, I wouldn't want... Well, we haven't had to deal with fire really in melee, so I think that's fine we'll let this be called whatever it's gonna be called because we're just gonna it'll just be like a one-off but yeah i i don't want us to accidentally like starve a baby okay i am running low on time before i need to get this uploaded so it can process so it can 
be out on time. Um, so nothing super exciting's happened. We have made, we finished the water temple because I decided to do that instead of this. Um, we have unforbid this area. So we'll start working on this and then I think we'll do like one at a time. I also put the plans up here for our Senate chamber and I did go ahead and let them floor the bedrooms that we know will be occupied very soon uh, and also started working on some of the soil just like filling in on this side. We'll do this side uh, probably later and we'll see if there's any other places that we want to fill soil in. But since we just have a few minutes left this episode, I thought we'd take a look at just like kind of the current state of uh, what, how people are equipped. I accidentally made a plasteel shield, so that's why Halfler's shield looks a little bit different from Novak's. Uh, but we do have Novak and Halfler wearing the same outfit, so I kind of envisioned them of like leaders of little battalions here. Uh, so uh, I went ahead and gave them the Grove Guard um, role, which is our melee specialist, since we had to take it away from Thela, since her weapon is technically a ranged weapon um so she does have um oh she looks so surprised right now um she does have we gave her the ranger ability and if we take a look at this can we fire at like nothing uh no we do have to fire at something um we'll just like do that once uh that's what it looks like uh, and it looks like it does like an area like effect, like actually like EMP. Um, so probably not, not a great ranged weapon, but still a lot of melee damage for it. So I think it's still appropriate for her to kind of be like leading our front line. Um, so what our rangers are looking like, it looks like the blade dancer helmet has some variation to it, right? So this one and this one, um, are unique. This is also unique. Uh, I thought this one looked the same as this one, but th these horns are a bit different. This one's also unique. So like Nim and Etrian, um, which is, are wearing the same helmet, basically. And that's hilarious considering they're married. And then it looks like, is this one... This one, Nimu and Fennec are wearing the same one. Uh, Nimu's looks a little different because these are actually her ears. And then it looks like, wait, are these? No, these two are the same. It's just Griffiel's ears that are making it look a little bit different. So it looks like there's three different models for it, which is pretty cool. Um, Oren, uh, Demisha, and Griffiel are wearing all of that. And we do have some of our Fae, like technically serving as rangers, right? So like Demisha is, uh, looks like the child of Drusilla, right? Uh, mother is, oh no, Alara is your mother. And then I think we have another one of you guys, Barba. Your mother is Drusilla, right? Oh no, Alara. Alara's had so many children. Okay. Um, so we have a couple Fey down here. We have a couple Fey in our Ranger squad as well. Uh, we have our Senators. Uh, we of course have Alara, who also looks so surprised right now, and Arwen uh, in their own unique outfits. And then our Fey, their outfits have kind of evolved over time. We gave them this like wooden armored helm. Uh, from like the elves mod they're still wearing their tribal robes and they're still wearing their fey like undergarments uh, but that's what they're looking like our children are all up here in parkas and tiberius looking super surprised uh, and also like fey child garments and then we have a couple more folks that are over here and a little like unique outfits so aqua is wearing um the witch undergarments as well as like some bronze witch armor and a sorceress crown uh Marin and drusilla both wearing arcane crowns uh and then i think Marin's just wearing like gloves and that fur uh yeah he does technically have a shield he has like a mithril spear as an offhand actually like he doesn't really need that let's let's get rid of that because who is it janice was like missing a spear so let's get janice equipped with the mithril spear and marin you can like go equip janice's weapon as your offhand uh marin where did you go equip uh sidearm okay 
And then Drusilla wearing fey garments. She's also wearing an arcane robe. Uh, but I did want us to kind of like gather around the anima tree. We haven't really done anima rituals. I've been trying to get like this to all be filled with anima grass, but this is about as full as it gets, which is 102 grass. So that's about as much as we can maintain, I guess, before the grass just like naturally dies on its own. But since um, since we have Novak and Halfler both kind of leading leading these like forces like leading these squads um we did give Halfler a Psylink right um we had like that arcane crystal that he consumed so I'm thinking that we do an anima linking or a linking ceremony with Novak uh, that way we can also make him a barbarian uh so let's go ahead and like just get you guys all undrafted Everyone's free to go. And I think this is the first animal linking ceremony that we've done. So it'll consume 20 grass. So this will like recede a little bit. In a, wait, why was it canceled? Why was it canceled? Uh, where are you? Novak, where are you? You are meditating. I want you to begin that. Oh no, is it broken? It says we can do the thing. Okay, let me reload roll. Okay, interesting. So it's finally letting me do it. I tried doing it with everyone, like with multiple people. I tried doing it with Halfler, with Thella, and it just kept getting canceled immediately. So what I had to do was I had to like zone them all, or at least I zoned all our like, all our non-senator adults just to like this area. And now they're deciding to do it. So for whatever reason, anything else that they were deciding to go do uh, was canceling the anima ceremony. But now that they're stuck here and don't have access to other things, uh, some of these folks, I guess, don't have like natural connections or whatever. It's bedtime. But there we go. So 102 anima grass. I think if it's a really good ceremony, we don't consume like the full 20. Okay, so complete. We consumed 12. Okay. And for Novak, where are you? We're going to go ahead and unlock Barbarian on you. And we will let our people go. So let's go ahead and unrestrict you guys. Let's just like wake everyone up. Uh, well, when the UI is working again, we'll wake people up so that they go sleep in their beds. It's kind of funny watching them like sleep under the anima tree for now. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to rush to go get this episode uploaded. And tomorrow we'll be back to do some more just kind of like finalization around the base um, and before we bring in our last two senators. So if we're at a state where we're not going to get... Uh, a lot of this completed yet then we'll go out into the world and let's we can participate in some of these events so that we can check out those so we might do some faction contentions tomorrow and then um maybe this weekend we'll be able to like wrap this series up uh thanks for hanging out uh sorry it was kind of like a little slower episode today uh but until next time have a good one bye